Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week on my blog, I am featuring the Catch You Later stamp set from the 2022 Spring Mini Catalog from Stampin' Up. Um, I have lots of projects, uh, I think a total of five. So if you're looking for inspiration, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog and you'll find lots of ideas. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is create a kind of a sunset background with a torn cardstock. Uh, this is kind of an old technique that uh, I don't know, I've been doing for forever, um, but I saw something online and I was inspired by it. So that's what we're going to do uh, for the measurements of these uh, pieces. I'll have them on a PDF over on my blog for you. All right, we're gonna start with Pale Papaya, and the back color is Coastal Cabana, and I'm gonna tear it across. I don't want it to be straight, perfectly straight. I kinda of want it to have, you know, um, points and, and valleys. Um, the, the next one, I think I'm, I'm gonna try to create kind of a hill. You just want them to all be different. This one is Bermuda Bay, and I think I'll try to make it rounded at the top like that. Now I'm just gonna put them down with um, Stampin' Seal. I'm gonna lift that up a little bit higher than the bottom edge, which is fine because we're gonna cover the rest of, of it up. All right, now we've got Knight of Navy. There we go. We'll put that one about right there. And last but not least, we have Granny Apple. It's an interesting mix of colors, not one I would necessarily have thought would go together, but they go really well. All right, see how I left that? I kind of like that. You can uh, control the way you tear, you know, by going slow. And you'll see on the side, if you pull up when you tear, this side gives you more texture. Over here, you're just going to get a torn edge. So depending on, you know, what look you're going for, um, you know, de determines the side that you're going to use. All right, I have cut just a small, about an inch and three quarter, uh, Daffodil Delight Sun. And we're going to just tuck that in right there all right now i've got a basic white card base and we'll we'll put this on with dimensionals you could do it flat if you'd like but i am a fan of a lot of layers and dimension on my cards so i'm going to use dimensionals all right now let's color our little birds um, i think these are quails i think um, I could be wrong, but they look like quail to me. And I have chosen to use Cinnamon Cider, which is a retiring in color, and Pale Papaya. Now, I didn't do very good on that. Let's flip that around and see if I can do a better job. This is Memento Black, and this is a thick white uh, circle, thick white cardstock circle. All right, let's start with our light Pale Papaya. Um, I'm going to do one bird at a time. These are alcohol markers, and so they will dry relatively quickly, and we're going to do some shading, and we don't want them to dry before we get all of our shading done. All right, so just kind of a, a coating of light. Now I'm going to go back with my dark and see where all those little tick marks are. You definitely want to add in some dark there, and then around kind of under her belly there around her chin and then under that wing for sure all right and then you just want to take your light and just kind of flick that color up blending it together all right now let's do the same thing on mama bird um this is her wing right here kind of hugging her little baby and this part up here we want to be very light because that's where our light source most likely is so I'm just gonna do kind of light. I'm just gonna leave maybe the edges a little bit white because we're gonna do several layers and we want to make sure that that remains light. All right, so again, where those little hash marks are, you wanna add some color and all the way around the bottom, that's gonna be dark under her wing and around the baby. Now her, um, 
wing back here is going to be dark. That's definitely all in shadow. Um, her head is bent a little bit right here, so I think there would probably be some dark color there as well. Now take your light and again, just flicking that color together and just barely reaching that top edge of her, leaving it just a tiny bit white along the edges. All right, there she is. She's adorable. Now I'm just going to take my cinnamon cider. I think we'll do, let's see what dark looks like. I'm going to do her feet with, I'm using the bullet tip in here. And we'll do that and just allow add a little to her little plume there and their beaks all right there we go now we don't want them just floating around in space so let's add a grounding line under them i'm using light cinnamon cider to just give them a little bit of a shadow to where they are standing okay all right now um Pale papaya is not a retiring color, but this ribbon, the pale papaya with a white edge, is retiring. It's on the last chance list. Um, it's one of my favorites in the catalog, so make sure you snag it before it's gone. I'm gonna take a glue dot, and I'm gonna put it right there and fold it in half like that. And I'm gonna take another glue dot, probably two, and we'll see if we can pick them up at the same time like that and put that right there okay and then i'm just going to put this over here like that i believe that ribbon is discounted too it's on sale which hello we all love that all right let's do a little bit of white twine a little tiny bow like that. I don't have my good ribbon scissors. Let's see, my paper snips are gonna do the job. And we'll get our glue dots back over here. And put that right there. All right, bring back your card base. And let's add this with some dimensionals over here. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to stamp my sentiment. Darn it, I forgot. So I'm gonna show you, if you do forget to do that, you can use your Stamparatus. We have a dimensional under there. We're gonna use our Stamparatus to stamp that and see if we can fix that mistake. When you already have a dimensional under there, if you try to stamp that sentiment, it's going to be um, difficult. You're probably not going to get an even stamped image. So if you use your Stamparatus, you have a little more control over it. You can stamp it several times and make sure that it goes where it's supposed to and fills in all the letters. So I've got it right there. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to take my memento. I, I do this a lot. I forget or I decide on a sentiment after I've put the card together. Perfect. So use your Stamparatus to help you uh, fix those mistakes that sometimes, you know, you're like, I'm gonna have to tear this card apart. And you do not have to. All right, let's see if I've got enough putty on here. We're gonna pick up our iridescent rhinestones and just add a few. They come in two sizes. And I'm just gonna kind of add them in here and there. Okay, maybe we'll put one down here and one over there. All right, and there you have it. A really sweet card with an easy torn paper background. Make sure you click the link to my blog to get those sizes. It'll be on a PDF that is free for you, as well as there, there will also be two other uh, Catch You Later cards. All right, you guys have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.